No oh, great heavens, welcome back to Bystanders, everybody. My name is Donovan, you know at this point I edit the podcast and I play the character Donovan Halen. Welcome back, we got a fun episode for you today. Go ahead and check out Gwyn, Katie Cicada, and Kevin McLeod for making all of the music happen and all that stuff. We got a Discord, we got a website for the module. It's great, it's all fantastic stuff. I know you're going to love it. So, go ahead, get right on that, or else I'm going to throw a phone at you, and then I'm going to blow it up. I'll figure out how I'm going to do that when I get to the day, but just know that it will happen if you don't do any of those things. All right. Love you. Fine. Fine. That's fair. Not okay. on what? The recording? Good. Hayden has shut his mouth. Wiener! <laughs> <laughs> you were in pain trying to contain that. <laughs> This is going to be a good session. All right, let's stop it now. <laughs> Welcome back to Bystanders, everybody. So, uh, Donovan, would you care to give us a recap of last session real quick? I mean, yes. you just had it. Yeah, yes, I ahead. will, actually. Please do, please do. I like this. So, last session, Donovan and Guy had another Hamon lesson. Donovan got, a om- got an omelet lesson, and he had got a new lease on fate. Mm-hmm. Then Damien got another text on the lieutenant phone, or another call from the lieutenant. This happens so often to him. It's surprising. Why do we still let him have that phone? <laughs> <laughs> Why hasn't you someone taken it? You still taken it away. He still has We it. were cordially invited to the mansion of Sid Waters, the lieutenant that we know had direct contact with him. We t- So, the bystanders took Damien's awesome truck full of grapes to the house, and we took Taylor as well because she wanted to come. When we got there, uh, there was Mr. Sid Waters himself, a tall, lanky man who was not quite right. And we met his two siblings, Christopher and Patricia Waters. Mm-hmm. Patricia was a geneticist, and Christopher is a therapist. We, do not, we, we didn't know what Sid, did, what Sid did at the time. And Sid made us some lovely dinners, and then over time, and we found out a mystery that was within the, the manor's walls. We eventually found out that... Not always as it seems. Patricia was being manipulated into creating the virus that would be thrown into the water system. Or replicating it, but yes. Replicating it. Uh, uh, Christopher was manipulated into using his ability at a very young age to hide something. And Sid had been manipulated by his own father, him, into doing his bidding. And at the precipice of all this information, we learned that Taylor is the real mother of Sid, Patricia, and Christopher and his, and his former husband, whose name we now have, we can now pin a face to a name, a face and a name actually, Noah Grohl, the pianist. And now we just learned that they had sent a virus into Yellowfield, which is where the bystanders are going right now to stop any more further contamination. Well, 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 let us begin. So, Zoinks. you guys have been told to meet up with Don Eagle. Right. Uh, right now... Everyone who is in the organization gets a uh, <laughs> has gotten an extensively like crafted essay, receipts included, and the audio transmission from Nikki. Was um was um, the was the email like a mass send to everyone? Mm-hmm. Did Nikki get any emails? <laughs> mm-hmm. There is a massive just like open group chat of emails. And basically everyone is just like, oh. Yeah. Uh. And, and Donovan continues telling Brandy, because they were on the phone when we last left off, yeah. uh, that they're going to Yellowfield to deal with this. We have, in a few hours, essentially collapsed the beating heart. Yes. Mm-hmm. Which is good for us, but also horrifying. It mean, he isn't going to like that. It, it, oh, means, it means those who are loyal to him are going to stay <clears throat> loyal to him, and those who are not loyal to him are going to riot and probably get themselves hurt. It's closer yeah. to a civil war. Yeah. yeah. Beb Zinke. Let's do this thing. So... Yeah. Oh. But the identity of David Gro- of uh, David. David, not David. It's okay. It's this that, close enough. Yeah. That's Noah that's, Grohl. that's 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 the name of the yeah. actual singer. Um, drummer. But Noah Grohl. But he was drummer for a moment. Is now probably the most wanted man in Ohio. Oh, that's a feat. It's not him. It's not Damian Drake. <laughs> you would be surprised. Hey, at least I haven't committed. At least I'm not planning to commit genocide. At least I'm not planning to commit. <laughs> extensive <laughs> list. <laughs> it's most crimes. <laughs> yeah. Most violent crimes. Good lord. Yeah. So. Probably he's going for all achievements. Trespassing and littering. You know what? He he probably probably he's trying to get that platinum. Because the IRS would have got him like that. Oh, no. He, he pays his taxes immaculately. Oh, that's that's, what that's, that's worse somehow. He's had no red flags I in wonder, terms of legal I status. I wonder what kind of statues the IRS has. Actually, I don't want to know. You think Nikki does his taxes? You think the CEO of paying an organ? I've learned anything the CEO from CEO of an organization paying all of their taxes extensively is actually a red flag in and of itself. <laughs> okay. So, 
you all arrive, you pull up at the scene, and you realize that this is an entire operation. Right. Because, How long have we been driving? This has been a while, yes? Uh, it's on the outskirts of town, so probably about an hour, hour and a half. Right. So okay. you guys drive for a while. By the time you properly get to where you need to go, everyone has, or I actually would say with Damien's driving, probably close to like 45 minutes. Yeah, I was going to um, say, I, 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 ex- told, I told Detective Orange that I am currently breaking George, the traffic George. Detective like George. A, ah, yes. <laughs> Close enough. It's it's fine. Um, George, and uh, Donovan explicitly yeah, told down. Damien to ignore as many road laws as possible. Yeah. yeah. Uh, at one point, there's like a police car that like flashes its lights, and you just like scream past it. <laughs> Steve like out the window like waves the shotgun. I'm in a fucking like massive truck. How are they gonna stop me? Yeah. Like you you're just barreling through. Da- How are you uh, road um, spikes? I'll just plow through. Da- them. Damien. Well, I don't need- of those Damien emails. somehow managed to get a faster time on Desert Bus <laughs> than anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, but yeah, you guys are continuing onwards. Everything is peachy keen until you pull up to uh, the spot, the little town of Yellowfield. Population 254. Probably it is a small us. town that you guys probably would have been able to look up uh, some information on beforehand. A small town focused mainly on farming. Their main expo- uh, exports are farming, uh, being <coughs> wheat, which is how the town got its iconic name, as well as soybeans. Uh, it's a crop rotation that happens every year. Most of the community are uh, rural farmers just trying to eke out a living uh, near the big city. Yeah, you guys pull up and you It'll see be- that this place has been quarantined. You can see tents of people set up. There's like an entire camp, basically, because the CDC has realized that this is a virus that they know nothing about. This is a right. national. Right. This is a this is a national. I mean, yeah, it was on CMM. <laughs> so yeah. you know, it's, you know, it's bad with us CMM. CMM, and I mean, I mean, it's, it's gonna be a lot worse when they see a truck driving like. Burt Gummer from Tremors 2 over the freaking hill. And then a guy steps out of it with, like, eight heavy weapons strapped to his back. <laughs> but anyway, you see, like, there's a big, like, kind of quarantined area, mm-hmm. um, and you can see that most of the town's population is being kept in this little, like, prop-up town. You see a lot of tents and stuff. Folks going about their daily lives, some of them sick, some of them not. Um, but the vast majority of the population of the town has been, uh, like, taken outside of it. Okay. So... Uh, but kind of doing a preliminary count, uh, if someone would like to give me, like, an investigation roll, if you want to get, like, a rough count of how many people are out there. Gladly. Please do. No. Yeah, sure. Ahem. Ahem. Nine. Mm. Mm. Uh, I rolled a two. Fourteen. At least nine. Fourteen. Fourteen. Um, you're kind of eyeballing it. By your estimate, it could be anywhere between 100 to 200. So, uh, but you can talk to people and get information. Um... And you see initially several people, uh, very well-armed people, begin to walk up to you and, like, signal you down. But then someone, um, but then someone else kind of comes by and, like, gestures to put their weapons down, shows them a badge, communicates something to them, and they just nod and head out. So, uh, before we stop, Damien's gonna lean over, uh, I guess Steve's the only one he can talk to right now, but... We need to keep in mind, <clears throat> not only are we going to have some enemies here probably to deal with and the uh-huh. CDC, but also a bunch of scared people suddenly awakening to stay at powers. Right. So, We're going to need to be, approach this carefully. It's not gonna, something I'm great at, but I recognize it's important. It's not going to be all of them, though, right? Just the <laughs> ones with the fighting spirit required? No, the ones who don't will die, which is also bad. <laughs> which is why you guys okay. need to get in and get that vaccine or that cure or whatever so that Patricia can work on that. Yep. Let's do it. You guys are on a time limit. So, right. um, we're both in the trailer right now. You guys pull in, uh, you all hop out, and you are greeted by a man. Uh, a middle-aged man of average height and powerful build. He wears blue jeans and a deep-cut v-neck with a zip-up hoodie open over it. His calloused arms uh, kind of disappear, but you can see a bunch of tattoos, uh, most of them covered by the hoodie. Uh, you see that they are tattoos of birds. He also has the worst farmer's tan that any of you have ever seen. Wow. So he kind of waves you down, flags you over, yeah. um, and uh, you all would assume that this is likely Don Eagle, Don the representative Eagle, yes. from the Speedwagon Foundation. Don, Don che- I assume. Cousin of Don Cheadle, of course. Gotcha. <laughs> I yeah, this is I. I'm Don. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Damien Drake. Uh, Don, Donovan hops out of the room. Romantic. Trailer. I like that. Mm. Right. I'm Steve. Stevie Wonder. Steven. Nice to meet you. Steve. Mr. Eagle. <laughs> Do- Donovan Halen. Mm. 
What are you? You look to be about... 16. 16. No, no yeah, less. I was, I was, Give I was or take. Say 16. Great. <laughs> Give or take. <laughs> uh, elbow in the side. Nikki. Nikki, nice to meet you. Uh, my name's Don. Um, so, a bit, bit of a situation here, I take it. <sighs> You're telling me. Donovan Osimo got his uh, Virgin Killer back on. You don't know how he got it or when. I don't know how much. Uh, Damien's still wearing his, like, he doesn't have the jacket, so he's just wearing, like, the tux vest and the button up. Very nice. Steve has discarded the, da- the like, tail coat, but he's still got on, like, the nice shirt, the yellow tie, the mm-hmm. green pants. Tie is getting back on track. So. <clears throat> fuck, where was I going? Um. My brain just short circuited. Mm-hmm. Ah, I don't know how much you've been briefed on, but uh, we need to get a sample. And we need it fast. A sample we, of what? Of the, the virus. The virus is spread through water. We know we know the people who um, put it in there. Right, okay. And um, they might be able to help us get a vaccine for it before. Oh, shit. All okay. of these people either die or um, wake in the stand abilities. That's fantastic. So I have good news and bad news. Oh, okay. I'm going to give you the good news first. Uh, uh, so the good news is that we know where it's coming from. All right. There's a well in the center of town, and okay. our reports line up that everyone who is feeling sick or felt sick and then felt better drank water from that well. There All are right. people who've already recovered. Yes. Okay. We have... We have programs and things to deal with them, they will be briefed on proper stand usage, etc. They'll okay. be okay. Good. Right. Our main concern is those who aren't right, mm. and those still stuck within the village. Right. We have a report of around 60 to 80 people left in the village. We don't know how many are alive, but anytime we try to get close, our men are shot down. Shot, shot down. Great. So well, someone's still... not our men, but... Protecting the well, I take it. Uh, I'd imagine. It seems like there's a lot of people. You said shot. You said shot down, but like one guy with a gun or a bunch of people with firearms. We investigated the wounds. Pieces of gravel. Gravel. Oh. Sounds like stands. Well, well it sounds like it. The good thing is, that's our specialty. We need something with a lot of force that can break through, and then you know we can get to work. Uh, Donovan looks to Damien, and then back. You in guys want to get back in the truck? Then back in the grill as he starts oh. making another bow tie. <laughs> You think the CDC would mind if we barreled through in a truck? Yes, they're going to mind. No, I don't care. Let's go. All right. <laughs> <We're> getting... <laughs> I think he's getting into the trailer of it. <laughs> Donovan uh, goes over to the front of the truck and he he uh, he goes. He, he looks underneath the truck like he's gonna start like messing with stuff. Then you hear like balloon animal noises. And he takes out an even bigger bow tie with a skull instead of like the. Uh... <laughs> 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 oh, before we do anything, I want to brief each other on our stands, their function, etc. Just make sure we're all on the same page. We can go in have knowledge of what we need, what we don't. My name is Don Eagle. My stand is already gone. He summons it. Well, where'd it go? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Damien punches Donovan. <laughs> Donovan dies. Uh, the stand is a massive eagle of great size. Its feathers are a Ooh. bright blue, and when they move, they catch fire, becoming uh, in tr- like encircled in purple flame just Ooh. for a bit. Hell America, yeah. fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Too. My stand has the ability to shoot feathers. Anything a feather is stuck into, I can increase or decrease the friction of. Oh, that's that's incredible! Hell yeah! Uh, so this is my stand superstition, and then it, uh, Steve is just going to display like Act One turns into Act Two, turns into Act Three. Yeah, I can change like that. It makes people's minds funky. Next, that's, that's unfair. That's like three stands. I know, right? Okay, <laughs> he's on our side. Uh, Nikki, uh, CRX kind of moves itself up over uh, Nikki from his shoulders. A star based upside. CRX walls. You get hit, you get stuck in the walls. If you damage it, it'll reflect all of that back at you. Good enough for dealing with a close range stand user. That'll be the deal. Damien Drake crosses, crosses his arms and OK Go's wings come out of him. Jet wings. Damien Drake. OK Go. So Grab a manipulation. Cool. Donovan leans on the hood of the uh, of the truck. Don- Donovan Halen, back in black. I, I can make constructs out of shadows. They have to be simple, but I can have the two moving parts. Well, now that we're acquainted, I, I, I let's get in the truck. I gotta split my ripple in them to make them explode. What's a ripple? No, wait. Mar- this is that Hammond stuff we've been talking about? Yeah, right? it's, a, it's, a, it's a breathing martial art. I can channel the power of the sun through things. I was briefed on it, but I'm not super familiar. Well, regardless, yeah, let's get in the truck. As we're getting in, I just want to make sure, like, is there anything that seems, like, suspicious about him, or... Uh, give me an inside check. He's okay. the Speedwagon Foundation. Nothing could be suspicious about that. <sighs> dun, dun, dun. We trust them. Uh, insight, that's going to be nine. 
Uh, you can tell 11? that this man Nine. is very oh, tired, very stressed, and has been here for the last couple days. You don't know anything past that. Okay, sounds good. All right, uh, let's get in the truck. Let's get in. We have people to save. We don't know how many casualties we've had, but I don't want there to be any more. Let's go. Let's go. Ram it in the shit. I got this. All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They're going to see us coming. Here's what we're going to do. Thum, 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 thum. Puts four feathers in each of the tires. <laughs> Start spinning. We'll get it fully started. I'll increase the friction. We'll barrel through. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, Do Donovan hops on the side and uses hum uh, Hamon to uh, magnetize himself to the side mm -hmm. of the truck so it doesn't come flying off. I don't want to be in the trailer. The first time we've ever seen life magnetism get used? Uh, I, it's, it's not a feature. I don't think so. so. Nick yeah, it is. Uh, level 14. It is. Nick is sitting in well, the, I'm not uh, using it live. I'm putting it on myself. So. There you go. Nick is sitting in the trailer with CRX's claws digging into the uh, floor of it. There you go. Steve, anything you're doing special? Uh, Steve is keeping Act 1 above, looking for the first person who actually spots the truck. Okay. Um, there's a couple people who are armed, and they're like, what's what's, what's going on with that truck? Why do they have it it's on? And then they look, and it's just gone. <laughs> 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 building building, building um, a speed for a few seconds. Yeah, so, Damien, you're, you're you're sitting there, you know, you're going full oh, speed. One arm. Come on. Pedal to the metal, one arm. Using this And metal. then all of a sudden, Don says, three, two, one. Let's and then go! Just, shoom, you smell... <laughs> the tires shear off <laughs> as you barrel through the defenses. You can see they've set up like a little like makeshift fence. It just you, metal, you, metal goes flying. Using already gone, Damien Drake is able to clear the first part of, of, of yellow field and only zero A presses. <laughs> <laughs> and you all just barrel through. And then once you all get to the kind of center area of town, you hear some projectiles th 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 hit behind you, but you're too fast. And then all of a sudden, there's just down, and then <laughs> car comes to a complete and total stop instantly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks, <sighs> thanks, Don. All right, let's go. <sighs> Under the seat belt jumps out. Yeah, Damien jumps out. <sighs> all right. All right, so you all come to the town of Yellowfield. This town is abandoned. Um, you can see that most of the people are gone. A lot of the folks, you can see some people peeking out of windows and stuff. A lot of folks in the town appear either to be sick or hiding uh, and taking care of sick. So you can see that the town is very hush-hush, very quiet, but even more so than you feel like it would be even under normal circumstances, something is keeping this town quiet. Um... The town has kind of a residential area, uh, an area with a courtyard that has, like, a church, a few small businesses, uh, as well as a large two-story town hall. Um, and as you all kind of look around or getting acquainted with your settings, um, Steve. Yes. Give me a perception check. All right. Uh, could be worse. Uh, 13. So you come out of the truck, and there's a building relatively nearby uh, with some bricks in it, but you take a look at it, and you realize that the bricks are cracked. This wall, by all means, should be shattered, but it is holding intact. Like, there, there's fissures all throughout it, but it's just completely, like, mm -hmm. still... Okay. And then... It gives. Make a dexterity saving throw. Gladly. Oh, uh, just him or all of us? Just him. I have Act 1 with me, so that is going to help a lot. <laughs> Stroke of luck. There you go. Oh my god. So you got, you got, you got two of those, right? You yes. Skillfully dodge and duck out of and the way as you just, uh, luckily you were able to spot that something was weird with it and you just poof, pushed away. Uh, um, watch out for that. Yeah, Donovan, make sure you're not dead. Yeah, but you look and you realize that all the gravel's been, like, thrown out. Uh, this, this thing has basically been reduced to pebbles and shit. Um, and there's a hole, and on the other side, you don't see anybody. Jeez, Steve, watch where you're going. Uh, okay. He didn't do that. I didn't do that. Wow. But there's no one on the other side. It just broke out. There's some sort of standability afoot. We need to figure this out. Nikki, give me a perception check. Um, a proficiency in this fun fact. Go ahead. Ooh. Plus nine, that's going to be a 22. 22, okay. Um, so, you're kind of thinking about this, what happened to Steve, and you see shadows move across you. Very small, faint shadows. You look up, and you see gravel just hovering above oh. all of you. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Opens his umbrella! <laughs> <laughs> 
We're all just doing the Willem Dafoe, um, like... I'm going to stand leap and you see the power to just fucking... Okay, yeah, you're able to jump up and just... And as you push against, you feel the rocks, uh, something, like, happens or releases with them, and it just pulls you down. But because you have CRX ready and you were prepared, you're able to, like, shake it off and land okay. Uh, you don't suffer any damage or anything, but that was pretty close. And you guys are still out in the open. Okay. Great. All right. Uh, we gotta get it undercover. Uh, we gotta figure out where this guy is. We need to move! Let's get into this building, and Steve's gonna head into the building where, like, the wall just fell on him. The one that was... Falling apart, or was it just the wall? It was just the wall. It was just the wall. It was like blasted open. Quick, get inside. Gotcha. Yeah. Donovan sprints inside. So you all hop in, get into cover, and there you are inside of the building holding out. Can I make an investigation for perception check to see if I can determine where this guy might like look around the surroundings? Make perception, absolutely. Perception. Can I make it in this? No. Uh, 14. Okay, so as you are walk, uh, as you're kind of looking around, you notice something weird, something that you recognize. Hold on, wait, there, there's no way. You see what appears to be a mud golem strolling through the village. You can see it's having a very tough time keeping itself together, but there it is. Occasionally, it gets pelted with gravel, and it just gets up and can keeps I? Moving. Yo, he's on our side. It means gonna like. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> the pointing meme. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brent. Uh, Brent? Isn't that guy's name all? Isn't that guy? That Brent. Brent. Brent, not Brent. Brent, not Brent. Brent. That Brent uh, owns the cobble shop, right? Nikki is yes. going to. Yeah, Nikki's going to do something reckless. He's okay. going to run up and uh, grab the golem. Oh, okay. Is golem, it like far away? The golem. Uh, far it's, away. It's... It's far away, like 50 feet, but it's Nikki, so... Yeah, I could say far away is not a concept from Mr. and Nikki M. Fashion Fun and Sound Bones. What do you think, Nikki Bone? Well, <clears> as, <throat> actually, as you start running, um, Don hits the ground with a feather, and you just slide the rest of the way. You <laughs> oh, from we gotta do some Barhelios no. with that. Oh, that's yeah, you just, like, fly into this golem. Can I, can I make a Healy spin? Uh, I will say, I will let you just tackle this thing into safety if you want to. Like, you can just make that part of the check because you had Don's help. Absolutely! Uh, yeah, just make an athletic check. Athletics, you say? Mm -hmm. We're just giving me all the dubs. I am. Uh, 13 plus uh, 16, so that's going to be a 29. Okay, you like grab this thing and like twist around in the air. CRX <laughs> elbows a nearby building and you just go flying into it as the plaster just... <laughs> and you see... <laughs> things fall down okay, so right we're not, before... Okay, so uh, we're not with Nikki now. And okay. you just get right the heck out of there. All right. So, uh, so I'm away for safe. a little bit. And there's the golem, and it kind of like looks you up and down, and then just <gasps> the golem also does the pointing meme. Yeah, yeah, yeah! It's the pointing Spider-Man meme, and he just. Oh. Uh, and the golems are incapable of verbal communication, but what it does do is it points an arm that, like, like I said, is having a hard time keeping it to keeping itself together. It points towards the church. Towards the church. Of course. All right, he's guys. Uh, he's guys in a uh, the group message. about the church. Uh, okay. Damien is going to turn and look at the church, that, and that, that, that we were implying that the, the enemy is there, right? Or that. Uh, right. That's All that we know is that Where do uh, we the golem pointed at the church, and that that's a point of interest. Who do we think is there, the enemy or the confirmed church man? Oh yeah, Brett's a fucking Brett. Catholic. Oh, Brett, yeah. the yeah, Christian. Okay. I'm not going to do what I was going to do then. Okay. All right, we got it. So we're going we to. We should make our way there, I guess. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, and you all are in cover right now, so. How far away is the church? Um, from where you guys are, I'd probably say you have like two buildings facing each other and the church is on the other side. I would say that you probably have 30 meters to travel. Okay. All right. You have 30 meters to travel. You have a stand who is aerially attacking you. Okay. So how are you going to go about this? Uh, Donovan is going, here's what, here's what Donovan's gonna do. He's going to have Back and Black move ahead and he's going to use the shadows to like make like, to seem like the shadows are bigger than they are so we can stay in the darkness. Are, are we like running through the alleyways or something? Am I stupid? I might be stupid. Between it's, it, 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 this, it, it's an open space. Oh, it's, it's an like open space. The courtyard Never is across. mind. You guys are in the residential area, and yeah. the church is like across from that. I'm going so to it will do... be an open space. Night, then you I could travel around the edges, but that would be significantly more distance. That would be a lot more distance. I'm going to do one dash action. Yeah, no, Nick, you, <laughs> you want to take the golem with you? Fuck it. I am. Yeah, so you just poof, right through the door. Damien's so... just going to have OK Go hold the tower shield over his head, and he's just going to walk... That's fair. <laughs> Steve is going to use the dodge action, keep Act 1 with him to deflect any incoming projectiles. Okay. 
um, Donovan keep, Donovan opens his umbrella, obviously, um, and then he's just gonna do that. Don uh, Don kind of looks over at you all. Looks over. Uh, I can take you with me. I mean, I'll just meet you guys there. Turns off the friction and just. Love. Oh, that okay. was a cool stand. <laughs> he has he has to have some level power to be able yeah. to do that because yeah, still... he has he's a power type. I will say. Okay, that makes a lot. The of wing sense. is beat once and he just <laughs> and the oh, 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 only oh. thing left behind is just fire. Stanley, but Fuck even yeah. cooler. Yeah, this guy's freaking rad. Speedwagon Foundation got okay. that. Oh yeah, I can also sta- I'm gonna also Stanley. Nice. You all are able to through various means uh, protect yourself, shield yourself from the projectiles. Uh, I will say, Steve and Damien, I probably will make you guys yeah, do one save. dexterity save. Oh, yeah. Sure. Um, I'm going to say that with the combination of your Healy power and... I just out damage it. Well, I was going to say with the combination of your Healy and the fact that the ground is still missing friction, you can just... Oh, oh, oh yeah. Donovan just points them yeah, in that you, direction. You just, you just go. Cool. I'm don't, dodging, d- so I have advantage. Don't die. Yes. Yeah, so both of you guys have advantage fine. on those dexterity saves, and you are behind Thirteen. three quarters cover since you're hungry. You have advantage, thank goodness. So you have a pl- flat plus five. I'm, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna roll a huge check to see how graceful it is. Mm-hmm. Okay, Thankfully so plus five 17. to that as well. What's up? You said plus five because of Hunter. Or Twenty-two. Is that for Damien? That's for Damien. Okay. Um, so, you can use your stand to protect so, you. Yeah, that. thirty-four. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, seventeen and not a uh, nat one, which is what I initially rolled. That is good. I rolled a twenty-two. Okay, twenty-two. Yeah, you just very stylishly. Act one is just able to pierce all of the incoming like bits of gravel. Yeah, as I will Steve say you along. still do manage. You still catch a little bit of it. You take both of you. Or wait, what did you roll? And what did you roll? Seventeen. Thirty-four. Twenty-two. Seventeen. Okay, yeah. Actually, you're able. You take. You take. Actually, you both just take sixteen damage. Okay. Okay. As the gravel. <laughs> what about me? Uh, like I said, because of the healing, oh, okay. because of the way the wheel yeah. works, you just able to. Right. Boom. Can I reduce that since I'm using Act one? Yes. Okay. Or wait, and, no. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, no, because it's not. It's physical. So it, but it's a deck save. Right. It, yeah. Imagine being like... So there's no way to take no damage unless I just got yeah, you succeeded to save. Okay. It's a, it's I mean, a, it's a deck save. That's kind of how that so works. going to hit. Okay. Yeah, wait, I was using my stand. So it would be 23. I would still get hit. Yeah. yeah. The, the point is you passed the save. Right. Yeah. I'm Apparently, okay. I'm just Sorry. cooler than you guys, apparently. <laughs> it happens. I... Um, but 15 feet oh, yeah, plus the point is Triple everyone is able to get into the church right. um, you guys without casualty as well as Don uh, you two taking a little bit of hit but you guys are tough you'll walk it off Maybe so, brushes, brushes uh, yeah. but He's you still... all arrive close the church door behind you and you all see Our about authority. probably about 40 children and an extremely tired Brett Kramer Mm-hmm. You know oh my work God. Um, you also, yeah. I mean, there are also a few adults helping to take care of the kids, but mainly Brett is the one who's like up and able, <laughs> and he. uh... Sorry, I just want to tell you how badly I initially misread the situation well, because no. of my mis- <laughs> misinterpreting that point. Damien was going to fire his rocket launcher <laughs> at the church. <laughs> and he said he wasn't planning on committing genocide. He would have just killed 40 children. I yes. can't imagine what the look on your face would have been if I actually said that I was going to do that. I, uh, I, I, uh, he, I, I, I'm going to take this break in the action to pee. I'm so sorry. I'm about to... <laughs> I need a minute. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, we're gonna take the pee break. Oh my god! Uh, I call this one the Gorby Special. <laughs> kills children in a place of worship with a rocket launcher. <laughs> David really said bombs. Oh guys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, I, it's not relevant anymore, but you should check your DMs. I have a question about the rocket launcher. <laughs> 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 Hey, uh, quick, future Donovan here, editing Donovan. Um, so, uh, for some reason, the recording stops here, and after that, uh, our microphone stopped picking up the audio. So instead, it was using Kyler's laptop audio, 
We do not know why it did this, but the problem does not get solved for quite some time. So, uh, thank you for being patient. <gasps> we have before, crime if before, we learn so, before anything else can happen, Nikki is going straight to uh, Brett, still holding the uh, wounded golem. I will say, you look at Brett, and he is not looking good. You can see just yeah. dark circles under his eyes, his skin. You can tell that he has not been able to, like, take care of himself at all. He has been giving it his all. You see his skin, like, flaking and cracking in he's certain spots. Um, and you can tell that he hasn't eaten or slept in days. Oh, fuck. Right? It's me, Nikki. He pulls you in. Oh. You can finally rest now. Thank God. So, uh, Brett kind of, uh, here, I'll explain the situation, um, Donovan also runs over and helps him, you know, not fall over and die. Uh, I need to go upstairs, I need, I need, I need, I need to smoke. Donovan starts juicing him up with Hamon. You see, he, 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 he <sighs> starts to feel a little better. It's like a super adrenaline Do rush. Are any of the kids injured? Uh, a couple of them are sick, but most of them are already healed. You saved 40 kids on your own. Uh, I did what I had to. Donovan hit, hit, hits him with the, the bro hand. Make a medicine check. Oh, Donovan. You should, five. You can tell that... <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'll try. Do you not have proficiency in that? I will try. I will say, you also know Brett. Probably should. So, oh my god. Was, uh, just a regular medicine check. Eighteen! Yeah, you can see with the way he has been, basically he has been using his stand at near full capacity. He has not slept or eaten in three days. He's barely drank water. He started taking up smoking. And oh all of this taken by, with the immense stress of having to protect, like, 50 people. Some of whom are very sick. You can tell that this has taken years off of his lifespan. Yeah, that tracks. Nikki's also... This is also interesting for Nikki because, to his knowledge, Brett just kind of was floating around. No, he has been here those last few days. Yeah, and I know that now. Yeah, but this is what he's been up to. The stand users attract other stand users. How, how long has this been going on? <coughs> when did it start? A few days ago? <coughs> Three days. <coughs> we ran out of food yesterday. Water supply is running low. What can we do? We're not in any danger currently. Um, the gravel outside seems to say otherwise. As long as we're in cover, they can't target us. Okay. Let's go up. I don't want to smoke around the kids. I need a cigarette. Okay. And, Nikki, you noticed that Brett has yeah. never mentioned anything about smoking. Would you? Not once in his life. I didn't, know you, I didn't know you smoked, Brad. Keeps my mind off of food. Helps me relax a bit. Here, go up to the church bell. And you guys step up, and you, you, you see it's like a little covered alcove. You can see there's been several tarps set up, essentially, to make it so um, no one can, like, see in through it. So you guys are effectively covered. <coughs> he, he brings a cigarette up to his lips, and he tries to light it, but he just, he just, he just can't do it. And then Don just... Takes a draw and you see him visibly relax. <sighs> the last few days have been rough. Yeah. Been keeping them safe as well as I could. We're under attack from whatever that stand is. They just won? As far as I know, do it's you, enough. Do you know where the user is? I have no idea. Alright, their range is incredible. They were able to attack us from all the way over there. Building sick people with gravel is kind of fucked up. How high does oh. how high does so it's creating the sick people? Uh, this is <clears throat> this church has one story, but there's like a bell, okay, like, up top, and that's where you guys are. This place has been like sealed off with tarps. If you want to like okay. peek around, you absolutely could. Instead of that, I'm actually gonna send Act One up like as far as its range will go, um, upwards, so it can like scout out essentially the small town. Yeah. Can I do that with advantage since I'm sending it up and like having it scout all around yes, the, you can. the city? Yeah. Okay. And um. I will say, nothing attacks Act 1. 
nothing like great to know. One. Oh. Perception that is going to be twenty one. So it's either a height thing or a stand thing. Twenty one. Um, Christ, it could be remote. <clears throat> it could very well be. So, motion. Uh, you look and you see a woman. Uh, on top oh of the no, oh no, on top of the two story building, uh, okay. which you assume to be the town hall. Mm-hmm. Um, she's a muscular middle aged woman with shoulder length brown hair tied back in a ponytail. She wears a leather jacket covered in patches, all except for her back, which has a large discolored empty space. She wears ripped red jeans with black patches, these being the clothes fixing kind, like the one that repairs them. Right. Um, and you can see she is like very intensely watching. She's got a pair of binoculars and she looks up at Act One and waves. You see a flash of a stand appear behind her as well. Okay. I found her. Uh, um, she's on the town hall a few buildings away. How far away? Uh, how far away? Game. You see Damn. this woman, and you also see several very large rocks that have been haphazardly moved, you assume, by wheelbarrow or power type stand yeah. to the top of the building. Okay. Good to know. Uh, Steve relays this information. How far away is she? Yeah, how far away? Um, so she's across the courtyard, so it would probably be about meters. 50 meters. Yeah. 50 meters. Damien's going to crouch by the window and bring out the rocket launcher, which is now named Mercy, and just say, Tell me when. <laughs> uh, she waved. I don't, I'm not she sensing waved. anything necessarily she hostile. Okay. Despite mm. the fact she's raining gravel on the city, it doesn't, I'm not getting, can I actually do like insight? Just to see if she seems like avert, like overly hostile, or just well, she's the one keeping people from getting to the well. Yeah, and well, the, I guess that could be preventing the spread. Wait. But Donovan checks. Donovan checks his revolver. This is something I'm just willing to give to you because Steve is smart enough to figure this out. Yes. So I could also. It didn't attack Act. She didn't attack Act One because you yeah. can tell that her method of attacking is physically physical okay. and not stand okay. So it wouldn't Sounds be good. worth it to attack Act One. It, so, I mean, okay. we don't know. Is the well, answer. in that case, Steven, you're just the we have <laughs> okay. we have three users who can make it across a courtyard in a single turn. Damien can make himself weightless. I can carry Damien, and we have the eagle. If we're at the top of the bell tower, I can make myself weightless and just launch myself. Can we use I can you also, as a Fortnite glider? I can also launch myself because yeah. I have stand leap. Da- Damien, there is nothing less subtle than a flying Damien Drake. We don't need subtlety. We need efficiency. Yeah. You said you need efficiency? I got one last trick. Brett kind of looks over. You know what? I got one last trick up my sleeve. I'll probably fall unconscious after this, but I can summon the huge golem. Uh, won't, won't the stand stop working? I think you guys got it covered from here. I can make the big one, get you guys across that courtyard, but I'll probably go unconscious after. And the kids? Are you sure you've got that covered? There's adults and stuff down there. Okay. I won't be able to protect them directly, but that's the main threat we've been dealing with. All right. I would feel safer knowing that they're being taken care of. Okay. They do have a stand user on the way. Okay. Are we going into attack? Because I can do a blast from here first if we want. Let's, let's, get, let's get you in close. Can I fire the rocket launcher once? You know what, Damien? You fire that rocket launcher. <laughs> Hold on. So, you're looking with Act 1. Is this... Yes. Is that the 50-50 rocket launcher? This is going to go very poor. No, no, no that, that was only one, one rocket. <laughs> was one that, that was the one that Which I was catch. trying to give to Nikki. Oh, right. This is a, this is a guaranteed to work uh, rocket launcher. You see already Dawn's user uh, takes the eagle and puts the wings back behind to protect from the blowback. The ba- blowback, oh, nice. yeah, back blast. So, uh, <laughs> it will, it will like prevent any consequences from that. So, yeah. um... Hey, Steve, bitch! See if you. <laughs> see I, if you're I'm not, I act, act as a spotter one. for you. Yeah. You. You're, 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 you're watching with Act One, and you see this woman as she kind of like looks and adjusts her binoculars and sees a man with a rocket launcher, and you just see shock and fear. <laughs> 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 Damon fires him and shouts down, "Make a DC 15 deck save." <laughs> What does that mean? I will say, rocket launchers in your life fire extremely fast. That is instant transmission. I, <laughs> I am telling you. My range on the rocket launcher, by the way, is 200, 600. Yeah, no, rockets have speed. Ooh. Also, this isn't a to hit weapon, so what does the long range do? Gives um, them advantage on the next Okay. Save. They can see it coming. Okay. 
That being said, it's if good. you catch him by surprise, yeah, you have given her just <laughs> enough time, not to let her delay, but for her asshole to clench. That's, <laughs> the, that's the only amount of time we've given her. Yep. Um, but you see that she looks in just shock and fear as an RPG flies towards her, <laughs> and she uh, summons her full stand in its full capacity. Uh, Steve, you're able to see it. Yes. It is a humanoid stand with red and with dark red iron plates, carrying the same material as a polished motorcycle. The stand wears sunglasses, and golden oil seeps out from the glass eyes. Ooh. Rather than joints, the stand has massive springs filled with a glowing golden neon. When it moves, the scent of gasoline fills the air. That's oh. fucking awesome. And While she's reacting, let's get over there. Yeah, I was about yeah. to say, as soon as the explosion hits, he has got to go. As soon as, as soon as Damien fires yeah. it, he's jumping on that golem. She oh, summons okay. the stand, oh, and... Oh, no, I'm going. Oh, yeah. You can tell she's used to this kind of thing. She actually, like grabs one of the boulders and like chucks it in the air and then when the RPG comes near she fucking backhands it and you see the explosion uh, go yeah. off to the side. I am telling you she has evasive. Ah. I see. Okay. okay. So she's able to effectively Good to know. Uh, We've learned something. Neutralize explosives. Cool. What the but she can't see right now because of all the dust in the clouds. So. Which means she can't see us coming. Mm -hmm. uh, Very fast. Fortnite going here? What the, what the 50 meter yeah. uh leap of power? Oh, I was gonna say Inman's impact. What, wait, where does it cap at? Uh, 10. 10? That's fine. Yeah, okay. So you. <laughs> so Nikki's just. He likes it just get down. He likes it just get down. He likes it just get down. So send Nikki first, and then the rest of you guys go. What yeah. you can do is each of you can throw your stands, and it's it's the meme that we were talking about <laughs> earlier, where it's the Eminem throwing meme, and then it's just Nikki flying through the air. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say the bystanders party where they encounter a minor inconvenience. Yeah. So once Damien fires that, he's going to stand, touch awful. himself, make himself weightless, brace himself on the roof, and then like grab these two. <laughs> And just standily pr pushing himself off the roof while he's weightless. And just yeet over Dawn there. is actually going to grab onto you and you feel the wings on the floor. Yo! And you guys <laughs> are... Are we a mega We need a drawing. Mm -hmm. We need a drawing of this. Give me, like, two months. <laughs> yeah, you guys... Uh, and you guys are able to effectively the five of you Fortnite glider over and you see that Brett doesn't even need to use the big golem so you see him just Aww. wave to you. As he wraps up his cigarette. Well, if that means he doesn't church. fall unconscious, that's probably better. Yeah. Right. Oh. So you guys Fortnite glider over there. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to recreate the end game from Shrek 2, where the big one falls into a lake. Oh, no. So. Later. We're landing in the cloud of dust. Yes, everyone make an acrobatics check to see how gracefully you land. Gladly. You know, I'm sprinting. Alright. That is... Oh, you're just running across. Yeah, no, I'm oh. running at her. Yeah, okay, yeah, you're able to make it. 33. 19. Uh, 33? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're, you're totally fine. You land with a stylish roll. Uh, you said 13? 19. 19. I'm going to say because, yeah, you have more acute control of your gravity and all that. You're perfectly fine. Yeah. Uh, Dawn's going to make an acrobat check seat. 25. 25, absolutely fine. Um, and Dawn is able to land... Uh, a bit harder on his knees than he intended, but, you know, he's okay. Uh, as you guys land... Oh. It looks good. No, we're fine, we're fine. Okay. As you guys, as you guys land, you see a Nikki with a... with a furious passion in his eyes that you have never seen before. As... I have a question. I have an answer. Can, instead of, uh... instead of doing damage... Can I use the shove action to knock her pro? Uh, I'll let you add that 10 to the athletics check. Okay, cool. So we Nikki's going to in. slide down, grab her legs with CRX, and attempt to just like slam her into the ground. Absolutely. I, th I, I thought she was on the roof of the throne hall. Um, uh, where we last left, off, where we last left off, I believe Nikki Bones was about to stand leap into a woman's face. Yeah. Yes. After after running after across so, an entire village. Fortnite so later. Nikki is going. To, Stop so saying. That. Nikki's going to do what he did uh, when he got out of the car the first time. He's mm -hmm. leaping with his hands in his pockets. Oh no. He's going to attempt to land on spin wheel uh, heelys. Oh my god. Okay. And then CRX's uh, arms are going to appear from like his legs and then. Catch your legs. Oh boy. Okay, so give me an athletics check for that. And I'll shoot that initiative yet. Um, no. we'll have that right after this. Okay. And I'm gonna say that you have advantage on this, uh, as well as that additional see. plus 10 because you can't see. Yep. 
let me see, let me get this big one. This one's gonna give me luck. It has forty two. She has to be forty two. Forty two. Um, she rolled a thirty three. So you just ha <laughs> So she free. Uh huh. Yeah, you fuck. You just fucking table flipper. Uh, and she falls prone. Um, and you see a combination of anger and fear flash across her face. And now that you're close, give me a perception check, and then we can map this out. Um, this is. I'm not done with uh grappling shit. This I. Oh god. Uh, plus nine. That's going to be. 14. Okay. Steve didn't see this from a distance, and honestly, neither did you until you got close. The stand appears to be wearing a shimmering white cloak. Okay. Interesting. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, and you can see this woman is, like I said, a mixture of basically fear and anger as you just flip her. <laughs> oh. Over. Oh, fear? Uh-huh. She has no fear. Oh, God. Oh. What's what's your what's what's your plan? We're gonna grapple plan. Uh, I'll wait. I'll wait until we're in the initiative. Sounds good. Um, yeah. So let us get this properly set up. Wahoo! We have like twelve characters on the map. Make yeah. Maybe save. having char- individual characters to stand was a bad idea. <laughs> no, I think it's great. I don't know what you're talking. It's about. good for positioning, but man, that is a uh, lot of figurines. I will. I don't know if we've ever said this to the audience. We use Lego minifigures for the mapping. Don't ask to see it. It's too much work. It's so fun. It's Steve. I'll take a picture and post it to what about Steve? someone asks. That's, that's your name. I was writing it down. Where, Boo Century asked for this picture if you're interested. Are we rolling initiative? No. Uh, in a bit, but DC first I gotta make a wisdom save. Okay, you said my name, so that's why I was checking. I'm, 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 I'm getting prepped for initiative. I'm getting bing a little bit. Me when I'm sucking dick. In wisdom save, you said? Yeah. Uh, that's a 12. Okay, she's in the walls now. Who up being in the wall? So she, she gets her head slammed into the roof and then she, looks okay. up and sees... She sees a rocket launcher Whoa. flying at her. And the dust remaining from that, she hears like eight people land on the roof and then Nikki Bones flips her and then sends her into the walls. We're not going to sugarcoat it. <laughs> We're not going to sugarcoat it. You picked the wrong fight. <laughs> so Walls is... Uh, so, so, so Walls is activated and she is... Uh, is she grappled or prone? She's prone right now. Currently. Prone and walls. Okay. So, so mm-hmm. I don't know how much so far is this cut pr- out of this. We're at about fifty, but I'd estimate that ten to twenty minutes are gonna get cut out from our laughing and we'll do we'll do shit. like two rounds. We'll do one round of combat and then we'll end. Question. I might end up Is this person this. giving the vibes of like a TBH member or like a n- person with a new stand? This person appear. This woman appear. Well, actually, give me an insight check. Sure. Uh, I will she also make an insight check because I'm right there. Okay. Uh, for Steve, that's 19. She's a very powerful stand user, or not not necessarily very powerful. She is a powerful stand user. She does not seem to be an experienced stand user. Okay. That is an important distinction. Good we enough. want her to stop. But we're not here to kill her. Right. <laughs> right. But that's not generally our mo anyway. Um, so you knock her down, she just <laughs> hits the pavement, uh, <laughs> L plus prone plus walls plus surrounded. Um, so you guys are kind of around this woman, and she goes down, and you see that she... She looks like a cornered animal, and she appears about as desperate as one. Does it seem like a fight you can win? If I don't, she'll kill me. She... Roll initiative. God damn it, we found him, now we gotta find she. <laughs> what other <laughs> Who else is a pronoun? <laughs> I don't have to find they and it and Z and Ugh I can never get past my bad initiative. <laughs> Donovan Halen. Ten. Ten for initiative. Damien. Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty for initiative. Nikki. Thirteen. Thirteen for initiative. And Steven. Twelve. Alright. So, I'm ready for initiative, so I think that we will begin. Top of initiative is a uh, downed woman within the walls, so she's going to use half her movement speed to get up, and then she is going to Attack wildly swing at Nikki. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Surely that will go well. Uh, she wildly swings at Nikki, and uh, that is a... I don't think... Did we determine she can't miss the walls? 37. So... That hits the walls. 
That hits the walls. Okay. Yep. You, you, don't, you do not. Well, I know to... that she doesn't. Yeah. So she swings. She's like, "What the?" And then. <laughs> Ow! My fists hurt a lot. What the scallop? <laughs> All right. She's Nine. not lieutenant. That's thirty-two damage. She hit my wall. She's not. Lieutenant. Does that break the walls? Uh, thirty-two. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, and so she takes all of that damage. She is having a rough time. Just instantly. Walls is such a good ability. It is. Yeah, I'm gonna get my calculator ready. Am I allowed to non-lethal offensive blow? Um, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, I will say, I do want to add a new system. What you can do is you can put someone down lethally. You can choose to go lethal, you can choose to go non-lethal, or you can choose to mortally wound. Okay. Explain what oh. that means, Maggie. When you mortally wound someone, um, it means that they... Actually, here, let me get this subtraction done first. <laughs> uh, basically, you can give them some time to say, like, their final words and all of that, but they will... They are, oh. like, bleeding out actively. Oh. So it is, like, it, it, it is a way where, like, you make a decisive blow, but if you feel like there's anything they need to say or get to, it gives them time for that. I don't know. I don't like that you're mentioning that now. That's just an option. She mentioned it to me, like, well before this. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, no, it, it's just part of a system I want to implement. In <laughs> Question. Can you, can you do a non-lethal stand rush? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. That, that's part of stand rush. That's written rules is written. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you got to end it early. The seven-page Muda wasn't lethal. He just threw them into a trash compactor. Now that was, that that was, was probably <laughs> lethal, but... <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, she just These wails on the people. wall, and they yep. shatter on her. Uh, wait, is that force damage? Yeah. She does not seem to be particularly affected by it. Okay, yeah, cool. That, was that does not matter. It's force. Um, why the was that was me? I didn't realize. No, you're good. Right. Um, she is still she, she she is affected by it because she still yeah. had to spin that attack to break out, and she takes half the damage, but not all of it. Okay. So she is affected, but not significantly so. <laughs> that would some normal would be. So. Uh, she's going to make her second attack. She's swinging at Damien just for her life. Uh, she's not melee range. Not. She's not melee. Yeah, she's not melee range. Oh, uh, sorry. So Nikki. To, but... Nikki okay, is okay. the one within melee uh, range. I am within two. I, I am also within two meters if she feels so inclined. Uh, <laughs> they are kissing. They are not. Uh, she is going to attack Nikki with a twenty-three to hit. Uh, that hits my stand. Okay, so your stand is able to absorb some of that. She hits you for eight plus. Uh, so that is 22 stand bludgeoning damage. What, what uh, as it stands, hits you, and then uh, Donovan. All right. That is going to be a 24. If a 24, you say. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. So is your stand moving ahead to okay, uh, go, not okay, go to so. Donovan? All right. It's not. I don't have the correct thing open, but the umbrella is open, and I'm going to use my reaction to increase my AC. And if I do that, my AC will win. Okay. Because yeah, so it just doesn't hit you. Yes. Oh, so right, Maggie, just... I was about to say, is the stand itself moving uh, to get towards Donovan? Because she's not directly within melee range. Oh yes, it, it would it would have to. She would get an opportunity attack on the stand. Yeah, I'm the stand. going to I'm going to use CRX to try to grapple the stand. Oh, then go ahead. Oh, that is an opportunity thing. All right, and that's a grapple is athletics. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, so that's going to be. Plus five, plus eleven, plus six. Twenty-four. Uh, twenty-four. I rolled pretty low. So did she. Um, twenty-three. So you oh. grapple her, just barely. I don't need to do that then. You're not going nowhere. So she uh, turns around and decides to smack you again. Whack. Uh, that's <laughs> whack. That's going to be twenty-three oh, again. That uh, still hits my stand. Okay. So. Uh, also, I, I missed it. What was the first uh, damage? Uh, 22 damage. The first thank you. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And then this second one is... 32 damage. Okay, mine is... Well, yeah, because I forgot to get rid of my DR. I figured you weren't, but let me make And they used a 32? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm fine. Yeah, so there you go. And that appears to be the end of his Damien! Damien Drake! Uh, she's no longer prone, and she's no longer affected by the walls. But, but she, she is grappled. Yes, she is grappled. So Damien is going to... Her, your st her stand is grappled. He's yeah, actually going to stay where he is and just send OK Go for it. Uh, and OK Go is going to uh, throw out a punch at her and beam with that first. Okay. Um, 
Her strand is able to protect her because it is within two, uh, within two meters. So. Yeah. Uh, it's been a while. Plus mm -hmm. 16, 26. Uh, that hits her stand. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and roll that damage. I have 2 10 now, that's right. Where's my health? Twenty-five, stand bludgeoning. Twenty-five. Uh, she takes it all, and he is going to use his bonus action to activate his ability on her. Mm -hmm. And she needs to make a DC eighteen save against that. I don't remember exactly what type of save that we decided that was. Oh, this is for your special ability, yes. This no. is for my regular ability. I don't have special ability. Ah, I want to say it's strength that we decided. Okay, strength. Uh, and can she use power for that or no? Yes. Sure. Okay. Um, so her stand gives her that power save. You said it's DC 18? Yep. Uh, handily. She okay. is able so to I, make it I'll be able power to stand. use half, I think, is what we said? Yes. Okay, so I reduce half of the weight I normally would, which is... So, 105 kilograms lighter. I don't okay. know how much she weighs, but probably less than that. Probably, yeah. That's so, gonna make my... Lighter or heavier? Lighter. So she starts so to... Uh, she's suspended in the air. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'm holding her stand. Okay, well, if you let go of her, she can't go anywhere, so... <clears throat> Alright! You gotta keep going! You see that she is just... Hor she is scared of Can something I make You are grappled, she is unable to touch you. the ground, and surrounded. Can I make an arcana check on that shimmer I saw? Go ahead. 17. 17. Wait! No, that's plus four because I have minus one intelligence buff for fishes. That's mm -hmm. going to be a 22. 22. Um, so I will say, that does not appear to be a part of her stand. Mm. And as Can that see white... Can Actually, I was going to say, we're getting to this. Okay. As, uh, we'll talk about that in a bit, though. As you kind of mentioned this, she's like, no, I can't, she'll kill me. And you see this white cape flow back and manifest into a stand of its own. Ah! There's our target! Uh, the stand is... I have the description here instead. Uh, <laughs> um, the stand has a beautiful white cloak that sparkles and shines in the light. Uh, the cloak billows and flows beautifully. Um, the hands of the stand are also beautiful and pristine, and they shine gold in the light. Underneath the cloak, the stand has three eyes, one in the middle of its forehead that stare, unblinking. The lips of the creature, uh, the lips of the stand are thin and delicate, but when the mouth opens, it reveals several rows of pointed teeth Horrifying. that, upon closer inspection, appear to be miniature ritual daggers sticking out from the gums. Mm. Horrifying. The stand does not have any visible legs, and it hovers several inches off of the ground. Horrifying. Mm. You said it has, like, fully manifested behind her now, it's no longer attached to her? Uh, yes, it is essentially fully manifested behind her. Okay, um, you let her go. I'm going to fucking... Okay, that's what I was going to do. Uh, it's I'm... my turn. Uh, I don't know. I was going to speed round, try to use my spin and back. Well, still grab me along to her stand. Um, I'll say Damien, if you want to assist with that. Uh... Yeah, I was going to use one of my attacks to, like, throw her back. Yeah, if you want, if you want to just take the shove action, just yeah. to throw her away. Yeah, if she wants to resist it, she can, otherwise I'm just going to do it. Um... Yeah, no, you you just chuck okay, her. I just chuck her away from it, and then... <clears throat> Alright, I got one more punch left this turn! <laughs> this he thing doesn't says, even look at you. It just looks at... Um, it just seems completely focused on this other woman. But go okay. ahead. Where I'm, My ability is still affecting her. Mm -hmm. um, Where are you which, throwing her? So well, she's like flying. Throw her back to Donovan, I guess. Okay. Oh, thanks. And this is meant to represent like the, yeah. that stand itself. Yeah, the little. So I'm gonna throw her back there. I'm gonna leave my ability effective on her, so she's just suspended there. So yeah, mm -hmm. just leave her there by Donovan. I can just look at. Yeah. Oh. And then uh, so that shove, um, uh, that's one of my attacks, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I have one attack left, and I'm gonna swing at this thing. Thirty-one. Uh, that misses. Oh. It's a st it's a stand on its own. Of course, it's gonna miss. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. All right. Um, so yeah, that's that. Damien, you good? Oh, that is my turn. Uh, Dawn kind of looks over, looks around at all of you, um, and Dawn is actually going, kind of sees, assesses the situation, realizes what's going on. He, which one is him? Uh, he's all the way over there. This guy, that's... Don gone. is going to essentially grapple, or uh, he's going to, like, sprint around and grapple her and start, like, pulling her along. Good, good. To, like, get her out of there! Away. Um, 
Yushishi like starts to resist at first, but eventually kind of just goes limp and kind of lets herself be dragged. Cool. Um, and you see this uh, this 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 shimmering like stand with the uh, weird ass teeth is not particularly pleased about that revelation. Uh, and Don is just going to use the grapple action and move. So yeah, that's all that. Um, this stand that's hovering there looks over. Actually, here if we want to use. Because it's a short range, st because this is a long range stand. Oh yeah, no, you already got something. Never mind. Yeah. Um, it looks over and kind of looks down at all of you. Hmm. I have a request. Oh, do you? Let her go. Request heard and ignored. All right, very well. She looks to Steve. Choke. Make a charisma saving throw. Gladly. I'm proficient in those. Music of my mind. <laughs> That actually might fail. Um, no, it won't. 16. Uh, that fails. All right. <laughs> you feel your throat just suddenly and violently being restricted. It's... Does Steve have any allergies? I, I would say, like, grass allergies, yeah. You feel your throat just close up, and you begin to take damage. Um, let me roll those d4s. All right. Oh! Or actually, you really just go into anaphylactic shock. Yeah, now. I, will, I will just give you the. Uh, I will just give you the damage. I won't have to roll at all. Um, so I'm gonna calculate that you take 25 force damage. All right. Oh! As your throat is restricted and you feel it getting tighter and tighter. All right. Cute. Um, so yeah, there's that. All right, he takes it. Great. He's okay. just like chilling over here and just. So yeah, and then she uh, smiles and looks over Damien. I hope you'll reconsider my offer, as Steve is loudly and violently choking. Um, so that's that. Nikki, it's your turn. You don't negotiate with manipulators. Mm. Oh, fuck Steve. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nikki, it's your turn. Go ahead. I can't feasibly get... Steve out of this thing's range if I don't know what its range is. Oh shit, I'm so sorry. That order is one uh, is one attack. Hold on, she still has uh, a turn. So oh, I'll boy. Get to think for that. Cool. Um, so she looks around and just, very well. Uh, that's Nikki and that's Donovan. Or no, who's, who's the That's angel? Okay Go. That's, that's, that's okay, Nikki, go. this is Donovan. Okay. What, you so, didn't recognize the giant sword? She looks down at Okay Go and just uh, from that third eye, a ritual dagger is summoned and she pulls it out and just brings it down onto Okay Go. Cool. Great. Um, so that's going to be a 40 to hit. Uh-huh. Okay. That hits okay, go. And that deals 22 stand piercing damage. Oh, okay. Um, and then she's going and to go again, attacking that, right? okay, go. Yeah. No, because it was a direct hit. Uh, she but it's again. hitting your stand. Yes, yeah, so you automatically get I to reduce it. It's hitting your oh, stand. Oh, right. Yeah, it is attacking, attacking okay, go specifically. Okay. Yes, so you get to reduce that. And how much was it? Fuck. Um, 20 something? 22. 22. Okay, I take two damage. And then she rolls again. She rolls a crit. Oh no! That is my damage reduction! <laughs> she rolls a crit on OK Go, oh. dealing <laughs> like, really 25 stand piercing damage. Okay, yeah, I'll take that. It's a dagger. Um, and finally, she looks back at Donovan. Hmm. Uh, and that is a. That is a 55 to hit. Yeah, that might hit. What okay. the fuck? Um, yeah, this thing's a bit dangerous. Uh, deal, you take 22 piercing damage, or sand piercing damage. Uh, okay, got so it. So is that. Um, Solid plus 34 to hit. So if that, that was a 19. Is that, uh, Ooh. sorry, now it's your turn, Nikki. I'm gonna use offensive blow. Okay. On, I imagine. I'm gonna use it on Fucking, I don't know. Okay, go. <laughs> oh, sounds good. Okay. Uh, 22, you said? Yep. Um, okay, I'm fine. Let me see the purple one because I need it. Um, I will say, I will let you get a free insight check on this thing. Because you were will... looking. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, go ahead. And I'll, I'll just let you do this first. Uh, insight. I have proficiency in that. It's got plus nine. That's going to be a 24. Okay, so you can tell that this woman is not only a competent stand user, but an experienced one. Um, and you can tell this is kind of a long range stand that is attacking from a distance. So you can tell that this stand probably isn't going to be super vulnerable, but if you can track down the user, that's probably the best way to go about it. If we can bring it down 
now if we have time to look for the user. Or I can sprint and look for the user. We, the, we can hold our ground here if you want to do that. The 15 meter range stand in question. Act one. Just have a look around. Oh, right, but you're choking. I mean, it hasn't been my turn yet. I can That's still fair. probably send it out. All right, well, in that case, I'm going to try to hold it down. Uh, anyways, I activate a fence of blow. Sounds good. That's the next attack, right? Yes. It takes your bonus action. In yeah, the I know. Yeah. I know it takes bonus action. And also my movement. Mm-hmm. Okay. Plus 11. 46. Uh, then plus 5. 31. And I think that's it. 31. That's uh, nope, not yes, quite. That's the exact roll I had to hit it earlier. Okay. And I did uh, it's not going to discourage me. I'm going to make my next two attacks this time with something that fits in my hand. Sounds good. Hey! Uh, a crit. Absolutely and, hits. Uh, and then. She has a very cocky face. She's like dodging all this stuff, and then you just kick her across <laughs> the jaw. Right. 15 plus 11 is. Since it's the stand itself, can it reduce that? That was more yes. than okay. I rolled last time, I think. But this thing doesn't seem to be particularly durable. Ah. Nope, this was, that was less than what I rolled last time, so that I only land my crit. That's fine. Uh, that being said, I landed a critical hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, first, Nikki's going to, with oh, his hand... She has to make a wisdom save, doesn't she? Yes, she does. Ah. So he's going with his... Psychological uh, sand walls trapping a stand... <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, that is a twelve. Oh. Oh, she's stuck then. Yeah. So she's wherever, wherever she is right now, I don't think the stand's affected by that. Uh, no, the stand is. <laughs> Whatever is hit is affected. Ah. I mean, they are stand walls, so like, like it's not normal. If it was normal, I'm, I'm, the stand wouldn't be. Affected, so Nikki's right? gonna reach his arm out with CRX like over it. That's weird. Grab a hold of the stand itself. Mm-hmm. I will find you. <laughs> give me an insight check. <laughs> Actually, no. Give me an intimidation, intimidation check. Yeah. <laughs> Can I give advantage on that? <laughs> uh, something tells me they're not gonna need it. Um, uh, something tells me I might need it because I don't have intimidation proficiency. Cope. Yeah, I do. Do you have good charisma though? Seven. But they roll a two. <laughs> Seven. I don't have inspiration unless that one roll that was technically a third inspiration uh, didn't count. So you said you rolled a seven? Seven total, yes. That was cute. Cool. I'm rolling my damage now. As <laughs> the, no, I, I, I will say that that was cute was her. Okay. Like, that was not me. Right. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm no, sorry. I know. We gathered that. That was her response. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so go well, ahead and roll damage. The maw of CRX is over her head. Gotcha. So go ahead and roll damage for that. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Big money, no whammies. Oh, got... So, average is the minimum, right? On a crit? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Six. That's a five. That's a one. And that's a one because it's a percentile. So those are sixes then. Six, twelve, twenty-four, uh, plus eleven. That's going to be thirty-five. Stand piercing damage. Yeah, and she's she's just like very confident, very cocky, and then you just Ow. fucking <laughs> down on her head, and uh, oh. she's not particularly uh, d- 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 a fan d- 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 of that. D- d- b- piercing, piercing, yes. And then, Sorry. and then after that, Nikki's simply going to turn around and walk away. Okay. Uh, she. Well, is... I can't actually. Never mind. I used defensive blow. Right. That'll do it. Uh, is that the end of your turn? Yep. Steve. Do I need to make a save? Uh, for yes. A, make a constitution a, saving throw. Con save. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can I use durability? Yes, for this I will say. Okay. Really? I mean, he's holding up one like a bat. Yeah, your throat is actively closing up. If you had your stand in there to help, that could like free up the airway. Natty 20. Natty 20, absolutely. So you're able to... <gasps> <gasps> you breathe for a bit, but you can feel your throat kind of closing in again. Um, so you avoid damage for now. But okay. It is still ramping up. Good, good to know. You don't look for her? For now. <coughs> you um, got this. Like, pats you on the back. And after that, sending Act 1 up to essentially scout out the surrounding area within 15 meters. Sounds good. Um, so go ahead and give me a perception check. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, damn. 
21. Okay, so you're looking up over the town? Yeah, 15 um, meters up and just, like, looking around. You don't see anyone. Okay, um... That's probably your chance movement action. What? That's probably your chance movement action. Right. And my, this might also just be one of those degrading checks. Okay, um, in that case, ugh. Act 1 has a 10, ten meter movement speed. Um, that's just speedy movement. That, that, I do, that, but that's, that's only if that's not how, that's it, not how that It's if someone, like, tries to hit Steve. So... No, I think it just do it to I can't down. switch acts because that requires it to come that back That is exactly to me. how it works. So... Right. I mean, you could. Uh, and since it's 15 feet up, I can't move around. I guess that's my turn. There you go. Okay. Don and Halen. Okay. Uh, but I, I will say definitively, there's no one outside that you see. Okay. So Donovan flips the nook of his uh, umbrella around and uh, tips it underneath this girl's chin. Where is she? Uh, sorry. Who? Uh. uh th- no, this one. Oh. Her. Um. She's being dragged away right now. Oh, actively. Freaking heck. Yeah. Uh, Never so mind. I don't, then I don't bother with that. Back in fair. black, just falls backwards in Donovan's shadow, and now he's like standing underneath where Donovan's feet is inside the building, looking around. There you oh, go. That's sick. I'm. Uh, I am now well, going to roll perception. Go ahead. I'm using a point of inspiration. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Uh, 17. Okay, so you come into the room on the second story, um, and probably just the first room that you enter into. This would be probably just a bedroom. Um, mm-hmm. And you see... I just want to say Steve's taking the dodge action. Nothing. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, he is. I will keep that in mind. Um, let me know if I try to attack you, because that will be important. Okay. Uh, we'll get through this round, and then yeah. So, Donovan. Uh, you're looking around, and you see a... Back of like looking around for everything. Yes. You see a man of about 18 uh, years of age in a, like, large black cloak, and uh, <laughs> he's just repeating to himself over and over again, I'm the stand user, I'm the stand user, I'm the stand user. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, back in black snaps its fingers in front of his face. Doesn't seem to notice. Don- back in black calls cap. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Your honor, capping on the court? There's no capping in the court of law. So go ahead and make an insight cap. We need cap. You Frick you! Mmm. Unnatural one. Mm. This guy could be the stand one. user that and just be so deceiving. Gross. You have no idea. I've gotten, I've stand gotten an unnatural zero anyone. before. Stand could be anyone, exactly. Nice. So, Donovan Halen, that's your turn. Or actually, yeah. yeah. Okay, Back in cool. black is the stand user. Do, Finally. Do, do, do. So, I think that we will get to the rest of this combat in the next episode. Woo! Mm. Bye! Bye. See ya. I'm lost on initiative again. Is gone. Tragically, the audio stopped at some point there, but... In the, in the middle of the laughing? Yeah, I think so, here. Maggie laughing in the bathroom. No, keep the pause. No, fuck you! Okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, uh, massive misread on my part. Block this overhead. <laughs> oh, he's in the church, is he? I like how you don't even say that's in D&D or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I almost blowing up a place of worship to sick children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot they were sick! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Mr. Kramer, are we gonna be okay? St. Jude's Jesus, man. St. Jude's Jesus. How does man solve the child's sickness with one simple trick? I was just said St. Jude. <laughs> Mothers <laughs> against Fucking Dave Drake. Drake. Uh, well, well, then you would have had an excellent thing to name your rocket launcher. <laughs> no! No! Oh my god! <laughs> Kyler, dog. We, no, I'm taking this way from you. You can't just respond! <laughs> What are we going to do? <laughs> 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 Just a light sticker igniting. <laughs> We're going to 
Name the rocket launcher. <laughs> the second worst thing to ever happen to these orphans. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh man. I'm just gonna go back to the fire emoji. Okay. I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the funniest you know thing that's ever happened in DD. <laughs> you know what you should have called the rock launcher that happened? A better place. <laughs> no! A, a better place. Mercy. Coming to them. <laughs> Don't worry, I have a plan. <laughs> <laughs> this, is the, this is the greatest plan. Yes, it was exactly that vibe. Like that was all the thought that went into it. <laughs> really channeling Damien. Oh, there. you do We dodged a rocket, quite literally. Yeah. <laughs> They all dodged their rocket. So, man, you were here. I was like, man, he said there was 40 children in there. Like, oh, I misread the situation. Oh, oh no. God. 